two major sources of misconduct. 1. The right basis of employer. Determine and establish rules and regulations governing the conducts of its employee at workplace made available in writing and distributed to all employees. 2. The right basis in the responsibilities of employees. What employees should or should not do while performing his or her duties towards employer and organization. Acts of misconduct that attracts dismissal. 1. Prejudicial or likely to be prejudicial to the interest of the employer. 2. Inconsistent and incompatible with employee's duty to employer. 3. Unsafe conduct for the employer to retain the employee in service. 4. Immoral conduct acknowledged by reasonable persons. 5. Unfaithful conduct which make it difficult for employer to rely on. 6. Not properly discharging duties. 7. Abusive or disturbing the peace at workplace. 8. Insulting or insubordinate behavior between employer and employee. 9. Negligence of duties which is engaged. And 10. Act of neglect tends to cause serious consequences. Dismissal procedures. The dismissal procedure is covered in the Employment Act 1955. An employer may on the grounds of misconduct inconsistent with the fulfillment of the express or implied conditions of his service after due inquiry. A. Dismiss the employee without notice. B. Downgrade the employee. C. Impose any other lesser punishment as he deems just and fit, and where the punishment without wages is imposed, it shall not exceed a period of two weeks. An employer may suspend the employee from work for a period not exceeding two weeks with half wages during the investigation and inquiry process. If the inquiry does not disclose any misconduct on the part of the employee, the employer shall forthwith restore to the employee full amount of wages so withheld. If the inquiry discloses the misconduct and is justified, then the employer shall proceed to determine the punishment in line with the severity of the misconduct. Domestic inquiry is a proper inquiry that is held in conformity with the principles of natural justice. It has become a statutory requirement prior to the inflicting a punishment of misconduct. Thus natural justice is served by the holding of domestic inquiry. Principles of conducting domestic inquiry. Domestic inquiry must be held in accordance of the, the principles of natural justice which are as follows.